In today's video, we're going to take a look at my priceless custom skins Fortnite Locker. This custom locker consists of my best and my favorite Fortnite custom skins. We got skins from Galactus to custom Supreme skins and even to a new female fish stick. Now quickly, drop a like if you want any skin out of my Fortnite Locker and comment down below which one would it be. Before we get started, I've sorted this into a few different categories and we're starting with Marvel. So as you guys can see, we have the Galactus skin. And I gotta say, this model was not 100% made by me, but just, just look at that Galactus skin, man. This guy looks so insanely cool and I can't wait to see what happens next with Galactus and how he actually fits into the Fortnite storyline. And whether we will be actually getting a Galactus skin in form of an item shop skin or maybe even Secret Battle Pass skin. Next up we have the Spider-Man skin and I think this is definitely one of my favorite skins on here. And I think there's just so many other people who would also love to see a Spider-Man skin. So yeah, definitely pretty clean skin. Then we have the Black Panther skin. And now since there is already a Black Panther PUI in the game, as well as some mythic abilities for him, I think it only makes sense that we see this skin in the future of Season 5. Then we have the Hulk skin and I, I gotta admit, the head of this Hulk skin doesn't look perfect. But I think overall just the entire body and the clothes. I, I really like this skin. Next up we have Gwen, a skin that is not that likely to come to the game, but yeah, still definitely a really cool looking skin. Next up we have Ant-Man, and Ant-Man as well as Black Panther already has his own PUI in the game, so I think it is definitely pretty likely that we'll see an Ant-Man skin in the future of Season 5. Moving on to the YouTuber category and starting with my very own skin. So as you guys can see on my skin I'm wearing my pink snipes hoodie and this supreme beanie right here. Then we of course also have the secondary version of that skin, the fully dripped out Trimix skin with my very own merch. That merch sadly isn't actually available anymore, but I'm planning on bringing out new merch, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Then we have my boy Sneep, and that is actually one of my favorite skins. There's just something about the skin I love so much. Like the entire tracksuit with a smiley on there, the cool stripes on the arms and on the pants, then the entire face with the cool shades, the hair and the airpods, Man, I gotta say, one of my favorite skins. Moving on to the laser beam skin from part 2 of joining YouTubers with their own skins. Man, I'm, I'm still waiting for laser beam to see the skin. Then we have the Lachlan skin, and Lachlan himself actually reacted to this over on Twitter, saying, yo, that's clean or something like that. But yeah, fully dripped out, wearing the power merch. Man, shout out to Lachlan. Power merch is looking insanely clean, and I overall just love the skin. Then we have the Quabble Cop skin. The first up with the pink hoodie, Quabble Cop logo up top, and then right there we have the second secondary style with the black hoodie and also Quabble Cops logo up front and this one even has glasses. Then we have the two skins for Pokimane. Now this skin is based off her merch with the sweatpants and then the logo up front on her t-shirt and she herself actually reacted to the skin as well as this secondary style right there which is based off her U2s. The clean blue shirt with the pokey text up front. Man, I love both these skins. They look clean. Then we have the Allie skin and this one is actually one of the most creative ones. The skin itself is pretty simple but the pose is just, uh, dude, I love this pose. The Allie controller in his right hand and then on the left hand we have Allie's dog. Man, I would definitely rock this skin in game. Then we have the Mr. Beast skin. I base this on the stuff he wears in his gaming videos. So yeah, you might recognize the grey Nike cap he also wears. And then of course a classic Mr. Beast shirt with his logo up front. Then we have PewDiePie with the insane looking Pew PewDiePie pattern jacket. Man, this jacket got so much drip. The pattern also going down his pants and of course his logo up front on the hoodie. Then we have Dakotas and Dakotas himself also reacted to this one. I think he even posted it on his Instagram. So yeah, that's definitely pretty cool. It is of course based off his wolf logo. Overall an entire grey and blue skin with fur all over the body. Pretty awesome looking skin. Then we have Dr. Lupo, of course, based off the Season 1 skin that Dr. Lupo used to always wear, and he was, like, really known for that skin. And then, of course, just retextured with Dr. Lupo's purple colors. Moving on to the recent skins I created, here we're starting off with the female fish stick skin. I actually just made the skin in my last video, but yeah, the female fish stick was shown in two loading screens, in two official loading screens, so that means we are definitely getting this female fish stick, and it might actually look similar to this one. Then we have another leaked confirmed skin, the Renegade Raider in the form of a gingerbread. So yeah, this is actually a fan-made skin, but I really love how this looks, and this is also from my latest video. Moving on to the skins I created for fans. One of my fans requested a Mandalorian skin with a Baby Yoda back bling, so that is this skin right here. Moving on to my fish skin, starting with the Midas flopper. And I think this, this might be the skin I spent most time on. Like, this is just so detailed. Other than that, his face might look a bit terrifying. I actually love the Midas skin. Then we have the Puffer Fish 
flopper. My guy looks like he's just straight out of magma. He's glowing like crazy and overall just the color combination. I also really like this skin. And man, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest going anywhere near this guy's face. It's, it looks like it's gonna hurt you, man. Speaking about it looks like it's gonna hurt you, we have the Vendetta Flopper skin. Of course, all of these based off the actual fish that are in the game, but then just turned into fish sticks. Is that even a word? Finishing it off with the Fermo fish skin. Moving on to the brand series, we have yet again another fish stick. And now this guy is fully dripped out. The skin just looks like fish stick went to the Gucci store. The next Gucci skin is the iconic Gucci skin. And this one must also be one of my favorites. I actually created this a really long time ago, but it's still one of my favorites. It just looks so clean. Then we have the wild starter pack skin with the completely dripped out Gucci outfit and the Louis Vuitton bag. Just look at that bag, man. I would definitely rock that skin, that combo with the bag, especially with the Louis Vuitton bag. This just looks so cool. Then we have the Gucci Iris skin. Shout out to my boy Apollo. He actually created this one. Yeah, once again, this, this skin just looks really clean. Then we actually have a skin that you guys created. This skin was created by Instagram polls that my fans voted on. So yeah, Louis Vuitton Supreme hoodie, some cool chains. Next up, we have a Supreme Off-White skin. And I didn't actually know in which category to put this because it also has Nike on there. It's just, it's just a mix of really popular brands, but I decided to put it in Supreme. Then we have the Supreme Iconic skin, and man, just, just look at this skin. This skin looks so clean. I feel like, I feel like Iconic in general just looks clean with every single brand. And then we have another fish stick skin. This time we have the fish stick skin with the shades and the Supreme outfit. Man, he's looking dripped out and also kind of terrifying. Then we have once again the Supreme Louis Vuitton hoodie on the Marshmallow skin this time. And damn, I haven't seen Marshmallow this stripped out ever. Then we have the Supreme Onesie skin with all the cash emojis on the onesie. Man, this skin looks awesome. Then we have yet again another Iconic dude. I'm, I'm telling you, Iconic just looks so sick on every single brand. And honestly, the Off-White might actually be my favorite one out of all of them. Just look at that clean logo on the back. The overall just black yellow design, it looks clean. And then we have Tyler Blevins. Ninja himself dripped out with some off-white clothes. Then we have another skin that was actually requested by a fan. And this one once again has multiple brands in it. It has off-white, of course Gucci, and then also Balenciaga on the beanie. Next up we have the Adidas skins. This one has the clean looking Adidas cap, the Adidas hoodie, and the Adidas pants. All three of those pieces have the stripes going down. Man, they need to start adding brand skins to Fortnite. These just look sick. And we actually have the skin I created before that skin. It's pretty much the same concept, the same designs, but yeah, it's, it's really just missing the cap. Other than that, it's it's pretty similar to the other one. And then we have another skin created for a fan. This time it is a Nike skin though. Now on the face mask, you can actually see this guy's logo. He actually wanted his logo on the skin and then just a clean looking blue Nike tracksuit. Then we have, oh my God, we have my entire fish stick collection. Starting with the gingerbread skin. And this is from a long time ago when I did a series where I turned popular Fortnite skins into fish stick. Yeah, basically try to make fish stick look like popular skins like the Bright Bomber as you guys can see right here. And honestly, they they look really cool. Maybe this Bunker Jonesy right here looks a bit terrifying. Dude, look at the hair going out of his head. Then we have the rarest skin in entire Fortnite. I'm, I'm just kidding. We have the Recon Expert Fish Stick skin. Man, you guys you guys think I could sell this for $1,000 on eBay? Next up, we have the exclusive Samsung Iconic skin. Man, I, I loved creating that skin. It looks so funny. Then we have the default of the fish sticks. Basically, just a default skin on the fish stick. And surprisingly, it actually looks really cool. The OG Season 2 Knight on a fish stick. Man, this guy looks like he's ready for World War 1. Look at his armor, man. This guy looks insane. Then we have the Cuddle Team Leader on the fish stick and I actually kind of hope we don't get this one. There's just already too many cuddle team leaders in the game. Then we have the clown fish stick skin. <laughs> okay, now we have the 1C fish stick. And dude, just, just look at this guy's head. Then we have marshmallow as a fish stick. Fish stick wearing the marshmallow head. And yeah, just a simple white design for the fish stick. Then we have Mr. Fishwick... Mr. John Wick fish stick. I don't really know. Awesome looking fish stick in a suit. And we have face sway as a fish stick. We have the dark bomber turned into a fish stick. And damn, this, this skin looks sick. Then we have the OG sparkle specialist on a fish stick. Next up, we have the food series. We have the fish stick as a Dur burger worker. Man, I, I miss Greasy Grove. Right now, fish stick is betraying the burger restaurant and he's working for the tacos. Kind of just reminds me when Greasy Grove got turned into like the whole taco thing. 
thing. All right, now he's back at the burger shop. This time he's a worker. He's not the boss anymore, he's working. All right, he probably didn't get paid that good, so now he's working for the tomato shop. All right, that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below how much you think my Fortnite locker is worth. Now, if you want to watch some more videos, now you can either watch this video right here, or you can watch this one. I like both of them, but this one is a bit better. So go click on that one, and I'll see you guys over there.